Hi, I'm Michael from Printful. Quick, name three marketing platforms from the top of your head. I'll wait. Any chance you thought of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest? When it comes to marketing, these platforms have shaped the way we build our social media presence. But that doesn't mean that they're necessarily the best and only platforms to include in your marketing strategy. I've gathered a list of four underrated marketing platforms for you to explore. Let's get right into it. First up, Quora. If you remember Yahoo Answers, imagine a bit more professional and toned down version of it. And you've got Quora. This is a platform where people post and answer questions about all different types of topics. I'll start by saying that according to Quora's policy, you're not allowed to link your products in the discussions. That's how Quora stays a place where people can find quality content and not just self promos. So one of the ways you can use Quora is for marketing research. You can read what your potential customers are talking about by seeing what questions people are asking about a certain topic, products, and niches. Core users discuss just about anything from pets and saddest celebrity moments to learning a new language. The chance is you can find a space that your brand can fit into as well as see what people are interested in regarding your niche. So instead of spending your money on customer surveys, open up Quora and find out for yourself. Let's say that I'm selling water bottles and see that several people are participating in a discussion. What brand makes the best water bottles? By checking this discussion, I can learn which brands are my competitors as well as what exactly makes a good water bottle. Here we see appreciation for such features as a double wall insulation, stainless steel and volume minimum of 17 ounces, which is something that I can definitely offer with Printful's stainless steel bottle. That's one way to learn if the product you offer actually measures up to people's expectations. I also see some of the brands that people love and can count those in as possible future competition for my brand. I can participate in these discussions and present myself as a helpful and trustworthy resource and build relationships with potential customers. Quora has become the go-to site for people who want their questions answered by knowledgeable peers. By answering questions that are relevant to your potential potential customers, you too can become a trusted resource for others. Although it can take some time, it's definitely worth it. By participating in conversations and giving valuable insights, a good rapport with people, and with the right approach, turn your conversation companions into customers or learn from them what customers expect from your store and product. Besides using Quora for marketing research, you can use it as an advertising channel. On this platform, you can target large, high intent audiences while they're researching certain products or topics before making a purchase. Let's say you're using Instagram Reels to drive brand awareness and a potential customer notices you and starts thinking about buying your product. The next step they might take could be researching some product specifications or reviews of a certain product on Quora. This is where you can advertise your product once again to remind them about your store and the product you offer. The cost of advertising depends on several factors such as campaign objective, audience targeting, location targeting, bid type, Etc. You can find out more about it by creating an ad account on Quora for business platform. Link in the description below. Quora can be an amazing addition to your marketing strategy. Just keep in mind that you need to deliver value with your answers and not just advertise your products. The next platform on this list might surprise you. Tumblr. Wait. Tumblr? Is that still a thing? It turns out that Tumblr's still kicking and can provide you with opportunities to establish and grow your brand presence. If you're not familiar with Tumblr, it's a micro blogging social media platform where its users can share text, photos, GIFs, quotes, music, and videos. It's like a blend between Instagram and Twitter. To put it simply, Tumblr is a blogging site where people post pictures, text, and other content that allows them to express themselves or their interests. You can find anything from pages dedicated to a certain person, team, fictional series, or teenagers writing out detailed interactions with their crushes, friends, and family. The site was at its peak during early 2014 with over 100 million posts made in one day. While Tumblr is not the giant that it once was, this platform is still quite active. Whether Tumblr is suitable for your brand is something to consider. To understand if this platform is something that could work for you, keep in mind that the majority of users on the site are between the age of 16 and 34. If your audience consists of millennials and Gen Z, this platform is definitely one to consider. One more thing that works to your benefit is that a large amount of Tumblr users are interested in following and engaging with fashion related content. So this just might be the place for your amazing products to shine. As I mentioned, Tumblr can be used mainly to raise brand awareness. This community appreciates actual engagement and communication with other accounts, even business ones. 
Here's a couple of strategies that might help you get started with Tumblr. Provide value to your potential customers by entertaining or educating them. When you give valuable content away for free, your audience will be inclined to check you out. That's how you can build brand awareness. The content you post can be a mix of pictures, GIFs, funny or useful text posts, and informative resources. Think of niche related content that your audience would want to share on their own blogs. Good examples of brands that actively use Tumblr are Vogue, Keds, and Cadence Collection. They're posting their own content, sharing pictures of their products and lifestyle that speak to their customers, all of which can be very attractive to the right audiences. If your content resonates with other users, they won't hesitate to share it on their own blogs, thus exposing you to even more people. For Tumblr users, a sense of community and interacting with others is a big part of what the platform can offer them. That means that you can use this platform to interact with potential customers directly and build a connection with them as well as begin to understand them better. If you're not sure where to start, find blogs related to your shop's niche and be the first one to start communicating with them. Send a message or or reblog their content with witty edition of your own. The more you communicate with other users and share your own content, the better Tumblr will work for you. This is a platform where you can show more of a relaxed and fun side of your business, so don't be afraid to experiment with content you put on Tumblr. An example of a brand that interacts with Tumblr users is Netflix. They answer questions asked by other users, making a connection but keeping it lighthearted and entertaining. The next platform, however, is a bit trickier when it comes to marketing, Reddit. With more than 430 million active users and billions of visits per month, Reddit is a self-proclaimed front page of the internet. The platform hosts a massive collection of forums known as subreddits, catering to every interest and topic you can imagine. Users gather on forums to discuss anything from becoming new parents, their favorite movies, to sharing wholesome moments that they've witnessed. Similar to social media sites, Redditors actively communicate and engage with others. But there's something I want to address first. Reddit is anti-marketing. Why am I including this on my list then? Well, there's still a lot of value to get out of it in terms of improving your marketing strategy. Why do Redditors dislike marketing? While users on this platform thrive on communication and can even come to the site to ask for product recommendations themselves, they don't take well to those who simply use the site to advertise their business. If you decide to join any of the subreddits, you need to be a person first and a business owner second. Instead of actively posting on Reddit and sharing brand related content, I suggest going a different route and using Reddit for marketing research and brand awareness instead. Here's a couple of examples of how you can use Reddit for marketing needs. See what your potential customers are talking about and what's currently trending. This might be one of the easier ways to use this platform as you don't need to become a seasoned Redditor to do this. You can simply use Reddit for research purposes and and read what others are writing about. Start by finding subreddits that are relevant to your business and niche. Let's imagine I'm selling sportswear and I type the word in yoga leggings. Here we see plenty of posts as well as communities talking about yoga leggings. If the topic you've searched for shows up too many subreddits and you're feeling overwhelmed with the choices, you can also ask other Redditors to help you find the right subreddit for you to join. Join one of the subreddits called Find a Reddit, where you can ask other users about certain topics and then they'll give you ideas about subreddits that you could join. Once you've found a few subreddits, join them and check through the latest posts every once in a while. If you've run your brand for a while now, there's a slight chance that you might even come across people discussing your business on one of the subreddits. Take this feedback and see what you're doing right so you know what makes your customers happy. If there are some complaints, that's actually a good thing. Use them to make your online store even better. Just as we previously did with topics, you can search for your brand name on Reddit. I'll search for Printful. As you see, there are plenty of discussions, opinions, and questions from people who are current or potential customers. Instead of intervening, all you have to do is just read and learn. The reason people like discussing brands on Reddit so much is because said brands are not actually inserting themselves in the conversation. While it might be tempting to participate participate in the discussion, I strongly suggest against it as you can risk facing some backlash. Just as people might be talking about your brand, they're discussing your competition too. Based on Redditor's feedback on competitors' products, you can get a better sense of what you're doing right and what to improve. The very first search result for the topic Printful is actually made by my teammate Edward, who is our community manager. He's made an Ask Me Anything post where Redditors can ask him anything Printful related. The reason I'm highlighting this post is that I want to show you another way that you can use this platform. You can also start the discussion yourself, like our community manager Edward did. I know, I know. I just told you not to participate in any conversations, but this case is a bit different. Ask Me Anything, AMA for short discussions, are quite a popular way for brands to engage with people in a more laid back way. It's pretty much what it sounds like. Redditors can ask a person just about anything related to a topic of their choice. There's even a subreddit dedicated to this purpose. 
Ask Me Anything. AMA participants have ranged from everyday people to celebrities, and the subreddits have become one of Reddit's most popular communities. Just keep in mind that the point of this discussion is not to promote your product or drive traffic to your store. It's just a good way for both you and your customers to learn more about each other. Of course, you can start a conversation in another way, but always make sure you provide some value to the community and focus on making connections, not advertising your brand. While Reddit requires quite a bit of a different approach to marketing, it's definitely worth it. Think of it as a window to your potential customer's mind. This will help you understand their expectations about a specific product, discover new trends, and level up your brand. YouTube. Long gone are the days when YouTube was just a go-to place for cat videos. While you can still find some solid footage of cute pets over there, YouTube has become one of the best platforms to reach customers online. If you're not sure about the effectiveness of YouTube as a platform to create brand awareness, let me present you with some stats and facts. First of all, you're watching this video. So hey, that means we've reached you on the site. Is that not good proof that brands and people can reach each other and connect on YouTube? Besides that, there's data to prove the effectiveness of this platform. According to Think, with Google, 68% of YouTube users watch YouTube to decide on a purchase. Even better than showing customers beautiful pictures of your products is showing how these products look in action. A great example of a company that uses YouTube to market its product is Printful. We use this channel to showcase our latest, most awaited products. If you like this idea but don't have time or resources to film product showcase yourself, check out our video services. I'll leave a link to this service in the description. YouTube is a platform where you can show off your day-to-day -day life as a small business owner, bring your viewers into the studio, and share your personality with them. Give insight into what it takes to run your business by creating vlogs or story time videos. For your potential customers, seeing your business behind the scenes and getting to know the person behind the store just might be that little extra push they need to make a purchase. So if you ever wondered about creating a YouTube channel for your business, take this as a sign to take that step. Just keep in mind that finding content that works for you and building a following might take a while. So don't be discouraged if you don't get thousands of views with your first video. Keep creating content, analyze your channel's performance, and you'll surely get your big break on this platform. The time you invest will be worth it once you've established an authentic connection with people who truly support your business. Are you already using one of these platforms to market your online business? If so, let me know how it's going in the comments section. And see you next time.